In the Red Cross shelter this afternoon, we expect anyways between 40 and 65, and really, uh, it, it's open to anyone who is displaced and might need a safe place to stay and a hot meal and uh, uh, maybe health services and mental health services. So at this point, we say about 40, but we anticipate about 65. We're trying to create a sense of normalcy here. So it's really, there's a bit of everything here in this shelter. It's, we, we try to make it as, you know, as close to home as possible, as close to, um, as to their reality, what they see every day. So what does that mean? That means that we have a dormitory on the opposite side of the curtain mm -hmm. where people will be sleeping tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, when people first arrive at the shelter, we're going to register people to know who's here. Uh, we have a recreation area for all the children. We have an area where it's a 24-hour you know, concession stand where people can get uh, cold beverages, uh, snacks, sandwiches, pizza. Uh, the Salvation Army will be delivering hot meals later on. So that's the canteen area. Um, and we have uh, shower facilities as well where people coming in be able to get a shower because it's extremely hot right now. It's about 100 degrees in the shelter. Yeah, right now what we're people seeing is people that are immediately displaced. There are those that are, I'll say, in the immediate impacted area that aren't here yet but know that the shelter exists and that's what we expect to see later on is those people who are sort of milling around the fire still. Um, and, and that's part of our effort is to get the word out there that these services are available to anybody who is displaced. So we're in part getting the word out. Um, and those who were impacted really know to come here. So we do anticipate seeing uh, a few more tonight. Yeah.